Photochromic lenses are becoming more popular than ever before. And that's because more people are opening up to the possibility of what photochromic technology can do for their everyday eyewear. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you through my thought process when I try to pair the right frames with the right photochromic lenses, not just in terms of what it takes for choosing the right frame style, but also the perfect lens color to match. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And for many people, photochromic lenses are an integral part of their perfect glasses. And why not? They give you the versatility of having almost everything in one pair, where you can be indoors and look great, but step out into the sun and still look great with the right eye protection. But it's not just that simple because most frames don't look quite right with photochromic lenses. And you've probably seen people out on the streets with lenses that, or glasses that quite obviously look like photochromic glasses. You can tell that they weren't really designed as sunglasses. But with the styles that I've got here to showcase for you today, which come from some of the very best eyewear designers in the world, you're gonna see what makes a perfect frame to match to a photochromic lens. I've got five men's styles, which I'm gonna showcase and wear for you. And I've got two more feminine styles, which I'm gonna feature later on in the video. And last of all, I'm gonna be showing you one of the latest and best photochromic technologies, which can really take your glasses up another level. But let's start with this JFRA frame. This is from the Carbon Wood series. This is the 2863, and it's a frame that I wear myself. I love this frame. I have it in the electric blue color, which is sadly not available anymore. I get asked all the time for it. But I think it looks awesome in every color. It comes in a red as well. In this silver with black carbon fiber and brown or light brown wood, it looks stunning. And it's a perfect match for photochromic lenses for three reasons. First of all, we have the teardrop aviator shape. Second of all, we have the double bridge, which is very popular with sunglass styles. And thirdly, the texture and coloration of this frame makes it really pop when you add a lens tint, as I will now demonstrate. So I've been measured using the VisiFit 1000 with all of these glasses, and that means that I can simulate those glasses on my face with various different tinting options. So let's see what happens when I add the photochromic technology. So here you can see how this pair of glasses looks when it's indoors or cloudy when it's moderately bright, and finally when it's full sunshine. And what I love about this is how the character of the frame really comes out the darker the lens goes, because you really get that texture on the wood and on the carbon fiber contrasting against the lens color. I've paired this with a very simple gray color, and it's one of the only times that I would use gray. There are other photochromic lens colors which we're gonna to get to, but on this frame, I feel like it's got enough going for it without adding too much color. And I think the gray is a perfect match with the carbon fiber at the bottom and the silver lens and the silver elements of the frame. Those beautiful pieces of metal work which really define this JFRA style. So next up, let's compare that against this Robert LaRoche frame. And I'm still waiting to upload my full showcase of the Robert LaRoche collection. But suffice it to say, these are some of the best frames I've come across in a long time. Beautifully crafted and extremely chunky. Chunky, thick acetate frames are really in this year. And to me, this is the best collection of chunky acetate frames in the world. But a chunky acetate frame can also look wonderful as a sunglass, as you will now see. Now this is in a lovely tortoiseshell coloration and tortoiseshell is fantastic because of how versatile it is. You can almost pair this with any lens color or tint. And a lot of people would be tempted just to go with a brown. And brown is obviously gonna blend in with the frame. But when I'm designing photochromic glasses, I always like to give a contrast between the lens and the frame. So I would go with a pioneer tint, which is more of a green color. You can see it better in that kind of 80% tint stage. This has an almost vintage kind of style because you see a lot of vintage sunglasses which have tortoiseshell and the green lens. But green gives more contrast to your vision. It gives more clarity and sharpness. And it also looks cooler, in my opinion. <laughs> Rather than blending in the lens with the frame, this makes uh, it play against the frame. There's a contrast between the two. And to me, that makes them more of a statement and look infinitely cooler. You might even get away with a blue photochromic lens on this frame. Yeah, you definitely could. And that looks really nice too. But the green and 
tortoiseshell is just a classic combination. I don't think you can go wrong with that. These are obviously a slightly different shape to the JFRA pair that I showcased initially. And to me, shape has nothing to do with choosing the right pair of frames for photochromic lenses. What I would say though, is they have to be big enough to protect from the sun and preferably to protect at the side as well. Although your everyday glasses aren't really gonna do that. And that's one reason why having dedicated sunglasses is always a good option as well. Now it doesn't have to be a particularly bold or dark frame like we just showed you there. This is the Lagos from LAI Works and it's one of my favorite crystal frames in the world. Partly because of the shape, which is a really interesting and cool take on a rectangle, which is usually super boring, but definitely not in this case. But also the coloration, because it's not completely transparent. We have this hint of blue and then a darker band of blue through the center. And watch what happens when I pair this with a blue photochromic lens. To me, this was made for photochromic lenses, especially in the blue color, because the frame has reasonable definition, but clearly not as much as some of these other frames. And the tint is gonna give it that definition. So watch what happens when we add that blue tint. Perfect, I love that. To me, that is like a, an, an elite level pair of glasses. Inside, it's still gonna look cool with that crystal aesthetic. And in the bright sun, it's gonna look good as well as the lens goes to a deeper blue. But in that halfway stage, that's where they look the best. And that looks amazing. So yeah, that's the Lagos from LAI Works. Perfect complement to photochromic lenses. Now, next up, I'm gonna showcase the Jasper from the Eco Eyewear Bioacetate Collection. I love the Bioacetate Collection because they are much better for the environment. They're made in a much more eco-friendly way. And this Jasper really caught my eye, not necessarily because of the shape, because I think that's quite a boring shape, but certainly the color, which is called caramel. And this is a great example of how a frame doesn't necessarily have to be a crazy, cool, quirky shape to be an interesting pair of glasses. The color can be a huge part of that as well. Now, this kind of color is really difficult to pair with a tint because it has so much going for it already. So I would always go with just a plain gray lens in this case. And I don't often say that, but just like with the JFRA, there's enough going on with this frame where it doesn't need anything more added to it other than just a dark tint. But what I love with the Jasper frame is how as the tint increases, the color of this frame stands out in more and more glory. And that's what photochromic lenses should do. They should enhance the look of your glasses. They're not just like an add-on that makes them useful in the sun. If paired with the right frame, they elevate that frame. And I think that's really what happens here. In the sun, you can imagine that beautiful caramel color really shining out because of the contrast between it and the gray lens. However, you don't have to have a thicker or more defined frame if you're having photochromic lenses. And that's why I've picked out the Cert from Reykjavik Eyes, which is a beautifully minimalistic, ultra thin frame. Reykjavik Eyes are made from one piece of titanium and that makes them the most comfortable and the most durable glasses on the planet. But they can work with photochromic lenses too. And as you'll see here, with probably a brown lens I would pair because we've got the gold elements and obviously gold is a slightly warmer color. Yeah, I think that brown looks ace personally. You could also probably go with the green. Yeah, the green is nice too, isn't it? Green and gold is also such a classic combination. I think either with brown or green, you've got an amazing pair of photochromic glasses. And I wouldn't pair all thin frames with a photochromic lens. In fact, you've got to be really careful with this kind of style. But because this is a Clubmaster kind of look where you've got the bolder top rim and the thinner lower rim. This is obviously one of the most iconic sunglass styles ever made and one of the most popular. So it's always going to look great as a sunglass. And that's something to think about. You should always ask yourself that question. Would these glasses look great as sunglasses? And if the answer is yes, they're probably going to match well to a photochromic lens. And that's certainly the case for the cert. Now I do have two more feminine styles to show you today for those ladies who want photochromic glasses. This one is called the Emily and it's from Barton Pereira. Barton Prairie, a beautiful brand from California, one of my absolute favorites. I love the filigree detail and these rose gold temple, uh, or lugs, I should say. And the red frame does make it a difficult one to pair with a photochromic lens, but I would probably go gray with this, just keep it simple again, because as the frame goes darker towards the top, it goes almost black. That's gonna work really well with a gray lens. And again, it's gonna set off that beautiful red color. Then we have the Quinto from LAI Works. And to be fair, this is not that feminine really. This is definitely more of a unisex style. And I do love the shape of this and the coloration too. 
Again, being tortoiseshell, you can probably pair it with, with any lens tint, but maybe a green or blue again, like we talked about. I think that would be a really cool combination. Now, once that decision has been made, this is an extra bit that you should definitely consider. This is called Photofusion Flash Technology. And what this is, is a semi-reflective color that's added on top of the lens itself. So we have various different lens colors here, including diamond, which is more of a silver finish if you want it to be colorless. But this gives your photochromic glasses more protection for your eyes by reflecting sunlight away from your eyes. And in my opinion, it really elevates them an extra tier. So let's say, for example, we've chosen the JFA frame with the gray lens tint. We could then add this diamond flash coating and that's gonna play with the silver elements of the frame and really tie the whole thing together. But fair enough, that's probably the most boring example from everything we've got on the table. So I'm gonna tell you now how I would pair each of these styles with a Photofusion flash lens to give you some inspiration. So with the Quinto, again, very versatile, you could go with anything, but I would probably go with the jade finish, perhaps on top of a blue lens. So you've got the blue and green elements. That's gonna add a lot of fun and a lot of color to this style. With the cruising, I definitely have, and I'm not sure what makes me think this, but I definitely have more of an inkling towards the ruby. I think maybe there's a bit of brown, a bit more brown and a bit more red in this frame or something that's making me think ruby. But also the sapphire could work as well. That lovely blue color is gonna contrast against the warm tortoiseshell of the frame. With the cert, there's only one winner. With this style, it has to be the amber, which you could apply on top of either the pioneer or the green color or the brown like we talked about. But adding that little flash of gold is gonna match to the gold details on the frame. And that would be my top tip when it comes to choosing these kind of lenses. Always pair, if you can, the color of the flash coating with one of the elements of the frame, maybe a subtle detail, so with this one, obviously it's the gold. We've got gold at the bridge and on the bottom lens rim, which is quite subtle, but also gold on the inside of the frame. And adding that amber color is gonna be phenomenal. With the Barton Pereira, ooh, this is a tough one. Uh, probably, well, it's not a tough one actually. <laughs> Definitely the ruby. With that red finish, that's gonna work so well with the red frame on top of a gray lens. You've got both gray and red within your lens, just like the frame has both gray and red within it. Now. The Jasper is probably the only one that I wouldn't add a flash coating to. And that's because I feel like it's colorful enough on its own. And this is a very difficult color to pair with something else. So just go gray, keep it flat and simple. With the Lagos though, ooh, a tough one again. You could either go blue on blue on blue with the Sapphire. So we'd have a blue tint and then a blue reflective coating and a blue frame. That would be amazing. And we have made that in that combination for a few people. It's looked top notch. But also you could even go with like the ruby and just contrast the color of the finish against the frame. That's definitely an option too. Maybe even the jade actually, because something, I'm not sure what it is, but I feel like there is like the tiniest hint of green to this frame. Maybe it's just me, but having that green on top of the blue coating could look really cool. And another benefit with Photofusion Flash, which I really like it for, is that you do have a slightly reflective finish when you're indoors. So this goes from this level of tint when you're inside to this level of tint when you're outside. And I like having that little bit of tint, residual tint inside. I think it makes your eyes more comfortable and it also gives the glasses a more fashionable style as well. So this is a way to add an element to the frames even when you're indoors and the lenses aren't activated. But I think that about wraps it up for today's video. I hope I've given you some inspiration and really made you think about how to pair the right frame and lens together. If you have enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow. And if you love beautiful eyewear as much as I do, you will love our channel. But if you've got any questions about photochromic lenses or any of the styles that are featured in today's video, leave those in the comment section below. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.